<laughs> oh, no, no, you're not getting away from this, Corey. Come over here. All right, we got Jan here, product management, Putzmeister, Putzmeister Germany, Putzmeister International. Yeah, Germany. Putzmeister Germany. And you're yeah. going to show us the new short rig system on the 47 meter, right? Yeah. What's it called? What's the abbreviation? Um, we have ISA, that's the control ISA. system. ISA. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, what does that stand system. for? Uh, intelligent Setup Assistance. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is combined with the full flex. That means the outrigger design of the steel structure. So we have the reinforcements up. added to the uh, outriggers. Oh, uh, so all that extra steel you can see up right. here, the thickening there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this design in combination with the ISA system allows you to set up the uh, outriggers and the slowing legs at any intermediate position. Uh, so the, the boxes are reinforced the full length Correct. as well too. Yeah. So, so in infinite positions available. Correct. Okay. Yeah. You just set it up wherever you can you want to do it. You just stop your your extension where Okay. And then the machine's gonna tell us how far we can boom out based Correct. on that. Yeah. Okay. So we have two screen we have two screens of course and on both screens it will show you the working range. Um, we have the uh, support menu here on the uh, control cabinet on the EGD. Um, so this is the diagram where it shows your working range. Um, we see the gray area when it, so whenever you switch to boom operation, it turns green, uh, and that's the working range where you can operate with that setup. So we oh, okay. have here more or less an OSS setup. Um, so you can go all the way to the right, uh, a little bit to the front. So it's not like you can all the, go all the way but uh, you can go to a, uh, a certain amount of so this, uh, reach. So this circle, the outer, outer perimeter, that, that's full reach, Correct. right? So yeah. everything here is full reach, and then yeah. the, the, the lighter white, that's the no-go zone on the short Correct. reach side. So the, okay, so the front, the front one is just down, and the back one's kicked out, what, yeah. what do they call that, like one meter? Um, yeah, uh, probably meter. two feet. So in that configuration, we can boom out yeah. about 50% of the way? Um, Actually, we can see it on the, on the, on remote, the okay. remote. Okay, so Dan, show us how to start up the Ergo 3 remote. Your Ergo 2 remote video was an absolute hit. TikTok sensation. So what do we do? E-stop. Pull out the E-stop. Yep. <laughs> and then on here. On the other side. Confirmation button. Confirmation button. And, it's it's good. and that's it. Yeah. Well, that's super easy. Yeah. So it's just the confirmation button is just this yeah, one, yeah. one more button. button. The confirmation That's button it. on the Ergo 2 is where this... Yeah, and that was the is. one one short tap, one long, which yeah. is what kind of messes everybody up. Yeah. So this one, it's just e-stop and hit the confirmation button, you're good. Correct. Okay. So now we go to the set, uh, setup menu here as well. So it shows it. It shows the outriggers where they're at. That one's not out at all. Uh, it's loading right now. So now you see, again, the working range. Oh, uh, okay. Then you get, can go to that menu here and see the, the range. So it's again a little bit loading. That's the actual situation of your outriggers, and then you can you can turn around uh, your boom, and you on on top of the uh, screen you oh, see the range. How far it reaches. So the, we, here we have the full spread of the outriggers, yeah. so you can go full reach. Full reach. So now we're going all the way around to the left. So it takes a little time. Now you see you can go 90 meters to the left side. Uh, with the overgears the oh, way so they are right now, yeah. we can reach It tells us meters. right on the screen, 19 yeah. meters. Correct. The amazing thing you mentioned me the other day is that in the, was it the Putzmeister Experts app, the app that where you yep. could you could plug in ahead of time if you know yep. the measurements on your job site. Yeah. We'll go through it here. Yeah. If you know how much space you have for the outriggers before getting the pump there and setting it up and waiting to see what it tells you on the screen. For what you're going to have for reach, you can go in. So this is just on the website, correct? So we are here uh, on the reach forecast app. Um, so ahead of time, when you are planning your job, you can enter your um, yeah your place on the job. So you, the space you have, you enter your 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 spread. Uh, you, the width you have, so you you, you can see the extension to the, you, you add here, the extension to the left, front, uh, front right, 
rear left, so you, rear so right. So that's where you put how far your outriggers are going to go out. Cor correct. Okay. That, that's the that's the, that's the spread of the outriggers. So and then with that it shows you um, also the working range you can get. Oh. Um, and will it give us the actual distance too? Like it's this, got the shaded yes. green area. Yeah, Does it give it, us a, a distance number? So um, we have the the spread. Of the outriggers, the uh, the force on the outriggers. Oh, it's gonna give us the force too. Yeah, unreal. And, that, and then you can you have here uh, the boom simulator. Yeah. So here it shows you the working range, of course, and then you can also change the angles of that boom. Well, this is extensive. And so if you're so doing a pre pour plan, yeah, and you know that you're gonna pour up onto the level eight deck or whatever it is, you you'd, you'd mimic that boom position, the anticipated boom position. And it's going to tell you what reach you have, what your outrigger pressures are going to be, everything. Correct. So you can even dial your setup in to like, wow. yeah, that, isn't that amazing? Normally, you go to a job site, you look at it, and you figure out what pump you can fit. Now, you just go to the job site, you measure it, and you play around on this and, and yeah. figure, figure out, out what you're going to work get. Or not. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's unreal. So, so you have here the reach and here the height, so that might be a four-story building or something. Yeah. And you can go like... 26 meters to the right from here so so you can really check the, uh, if you reach the edge of the building where you need to go if you go oh yeah we always go to the site and we'd yeah. be like okay fourth level up our third section gets about to here so we're gonna break there yeah. we'll lose this much but with this app you can <laughs> dial all that right in correct wow. so unbelievable yeah wow uh, and so this is just on the website yeah that's rfa Dot puts my sort of I'll, I'll put a link in the, in the yeah. description of the video here. So if you have this machine with this system in combination with that app, yeah. the possibilities are unbelievable, really. The, kind of the same thing we also have on the, on the screen itself. Um, if you go here, that's the reach simulator yeah. on the machine itself. Um, you have here also the slewing, you have the extension and percent of your outriggers, yeah. the outrigger spread. So in that case, we have 20% to the le front left, 50% to all the other areas. Yeah. So just 50%. And then you can <laughs> enter your slewing <laughs> angle here and you, see, you will see the range as well. Um, not with the boom angles, but at yeah. least the, the range you can it's get. Still, with incredibly the, detailed. Yeah. So you know what everybody's saying right now that's gonna watch this video, us stubborn North Americans? The computers are gonna fail. You can't trust the computers. So what do you say to that? You guys obviously have redundant systems. Like I would say that the human brains are a lot more, a lot less trustworthy than computers. Yeah. But what what is it in the system yeah. that that um, that ties in with the computer to tell it what it can and can't do? What are, what are the safety safety measures? So we have, of course, a different sensors on the machine. Um, so we have the angle sensor on the out, uh, on the legs and the rear and the. A rope yeah. sensor on the uh, front outriggers. So the rope sensor, can I see the rope sensor? Um, it's hidden, I think, you won't gonna see okay, it. Okay, but it's basically just yeah. a cable on a reel, Correct. and when the, when it comes out, when the cable feeds over the reel, it Correct. lets the machine know how yeah. far out yeah. it is, okay. And we have the angle sensors on the boom, so we know every angle on uh, on every boom inch. Okay. So that's, that's the other thing. Um, so, of course, um, you might be concerned about what uh, what, what is when something fails? So actually, we have a key switch on here, like you know it from OSS. Um, you can just turn on and off the system. Um, of course, if you turn it off, you, you will need to extend your outriggers and legs for all the way. But it's like a, full, a, full, a fallback strategy in the case something happens. Right, okay. Yeah. So, so, if, so if, yeah. if something happens, you turn this key, bypass the system, and then it turns into a regular... Correct. Regular yeah. boom pump, Regular. just like we've had for yeah. forever, for okay. a long time. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's the way how you can go around that system and make sure you can finish the job. That's that's. that's and and what are these? When is this actually available for purchase in North America? Yeah. When can somebody actually get their hands on one of these? Yeah. So we have it available on three models. Um, so we have the 28, 47, and 56. Um, the, for the 28, it will be available almost from beginning 2024. 20, okay. So it's for the if you order right now, you will get, you can get it. Hear that? The, the 28. Yeah. <laughs> I think down the 28. I talk about the 28 sometimes. More than sometimes. How cool would it be to have a 28 on the channel? The first the first one with this system. Yeah. Comment below. 
We haven't built it for the US right now, but it's available already. Put some pressure on these guys. <laughs> I need a really good deal, but I'll make great YouTube videos. YouTube yeah. magic, I promise. But yeah, I know that'd be unreal to have one of the first ones. And then the 47. Yeah, 47 is more, almost uh, available from deliveries uh, in the, f the fourth quarter of 2024. Okay. And we will show the first 56 uh, on the world of concrete 2025. Oh, next year? Yeah. Can you imagine a 56 of this? That would be unreal. Like, I would say you wouldn't need a 47 anymore, but if you had the 47, you wouldn't need a 38 anymore. Correct. Like the, man, the amount of work you could cover with just two or three pump sizes, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So th that's really the point. So also, if you have a tight spot with a large pump, you can still can do it. You would even have more reach with a bigger pump. Yeah. Uh, with with that smaller uh, smaller space than the actual machine. So that's what somebody pump. else had because told me. Weight. I'd heard that a yeah a forty seven set up of the same outrigger footprint as a 38 fully rigged actually nets as much reach as a 42. That, that was the analogy I heard. Correct. Is that pretty correct? Yeah, yeah that's pretty correct. Because you've yeah. got all that, that yeah. counterweight. Yeah, yeah. Un unbelievable. Yeah. Un like it, the yeah. utilization for, for companies with fleets, yeah. like what we go through every day to try and balance the schedule, you know, to shuffle all the pump sizes yeah. around to get everything covered, having having options like this is a complete game changer. Yeah. You could use everything every single day. It would take correct. so much stress off, off scheduling and dispatching, so. Yeah. Unreal, man. Yeah. Between that and the Ergo three, that's the other one I gotta, yeah. I gotta get some time on. Like this is beautiful. So we got toggle switch for pump on off. The agitator is one single button. Rabbit turtle is actually a button again. Yes. The vibrator is a button. Stroke change is a button. Yeah. Rotary volume control and then a rotary knob for boom outrigger. Like this is. What's very so important about the Agonic three to mention. So. Um, all functions you need for pumping we have on as actual button or switch so if you don't like the display just put a sticker on it you can run it yep. run the pump without the display <laughs> but i still want to mention we have uh, very nice features on here um so we have the user defined speeds so you can do the you can set all the boom speeds by yourself oh and now uh, it's got the, visuals too correct for the settings yeah that's so, awesome so um like that set as fast now it's as slow as it can go correct yeah so so you can set up your all your speeds in the remote um you can also um check your uh, lubrication interval your, your cycles and change them individually how often you want to lubricate and stuff like that so that's to get up and running it's very simple to just pump concrete correct and then everything else so you should you so choose to to dig further into it the options are there for you but it's not forced upon you correct which with it well, honestly with ergo too i think we can we can say it now i felt like a lot of it was a little bit forced there's a lot of stuff that i didn't want to have to get through to just get up and running with it yeah. and i think that issue of mine has completely been addressed and resolved with this so i got to get one out and get some uh, some miles on one but it looks it looks like they've they've nailed it so it's the same with the with the cleaning manual. You can you can start, uh, you can do the cleaning with the with the remote actually, but you still have the local panel. So all the cleaning functions are on the remote as well. For wash out. Yeah. Oh, for wash out. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So, but of course we still have the local panel. So here's, I'm going to put you on the hot seat here before we finish this one off. Yeah. What's it going to take to get? Simultaneous agitator and water function in the future. <laughs> Good smile. It's a big question. It's a big question. We're working yeah. on it. We know that feedback. We we have we haven't started working on it. Um, we know we know that would be a big thing for the US market and Canadians. It would save me so much that I spend on five gallon pails to, to splash water in the hopper while I'm recycling. <laughs> no, it's just a little thing. It's funny, but it's yeah. uh, that's what it like. That's it on, on every operator's mind these days, yeah. and it's not just you guys either. Yeah. It's it's a lot of manufacturers have, yeah. have gone to the toggles or whatever. But yeah. it would be nice to have. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, no, this whole system here, unbelievable. Yeah. Ergo three. Yeah. Very promising. Yeah, I gotta get some time on it for sure. But uh, so, one other thing, we have the fault management system now with the error codes and an error description. That's on here. That's also on the on the control uh, cabinet. Oh, so we're no longer looking so, at icons and then correct. going through a book trying to figure out what it means. Correct. It actually tells yeah. us. Yeah, exactly. So you, you, it just tells you what you need to change or what you need to fix. Yeah, while I was here at the show, I had people texting me pictures. What does this mean? Yeah, yeah, on the, on, the, on the old remote? On yeah, the no, remotes. I know. Uh, what? Another really nice thing, in the case something happens, we have the 
on the Iconic 3, uh, the rough mode with a uh, sensor pull switch that's inside the control cabinet. Um, that's this one here, actually. Oh, you got a bypass now. Yeah. So if you flip that switch, yeah. I think, so we are, we are not, that's not the final release on the software. Oh, okay. that, might, that might be the reason why it causes issues. Um, oh, we okay. Will, we will, We'll address that in the future. Yeah, okay, 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 fair so enough. That's, that's not but that'll how the machine the same, will That'll do the same thing as this? No, that's actually the sensor kill switch. Okay. It will go to a rough mode. Um, that means the power will be cut down by 50%, but it kills all the sensors. Proximity switches all the sensors you have on the machine. What about the e-stops? Same. Oh, wow. Because you know how many times, even just from an e-stop, and I've had hot mud in the pump, and just like switch shorts out or whatever and, and i i get it from like obviously from a safety perspective but there's certain times where you just got to get that pump cleaned out so that's amazing yeah. amazing so you guys have addressed a lot of things to make life easier for the operator correct and the owners a little bit too dan which one would you but get first 28 47 or 56 what would you pick i'd say either the 47 or the 56 would you yeah. I'd go for the 28 because yeah. I'm kind of, I like my little, you my like little, line. I do, I like, I like dragon hose and I, I don't know, I just, uh, I get, I get scared of big pumps. I'm not really scared, but it's just not my cup of tea. It's, it's good work for Dan. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, that's beautiful, man. I appreciate you showing us around everything. Yeah, and, uh, hopefully I'll have the first one. <laughs> Where's the, the lottery ticket center around here? <laughs> Be quick. Oh man, Be no quick. pressure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, appreciate yeah. your time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks for giving Scott. us a tour. Very, very yeah. promising stuff. Very, yeah. These guys yeah. these guys were out in our yard a week ago, and the main purpose of the mission, for what I gather, was user and user feedback as to how they could improve the product. So, very, very impressed to see that. So, yeah. they're, uh, they're definitely, uh, definitely have us operators in mind. So. Over and out, and uh, how's it go, Dan? What's, what's the new outro? Keep on pumping, keep on pumping. Keep on pumping. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. <laughs>